Flying a paper airplane is fun and relaxing. Making a paper airplane can be as creative and challenging as you want it to be. Now let's go inside and learn how to make a beginner's level paper airplane called the rapier. The rapier is a fairly basic model of paper airplane. It combines the structure and precision of a dart-like model with the flight style of a glider. Your paper airplane can be as complicated as you wish. We're going to keep it simple and use a single sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper, a ruler, and a pencil. First, you fold the sheet of paper in half along the vertical center to create a crease, and then unfold it. Next, use the ruler and pencil to measure and mark six half-inch increments beginning from the top of the paper. Now fold the first increment along the first mark and continue folding along each mark in a concertina fashion as if you are making a paper fan. When you're finished, you should have a very sturdy upper lip of paper which will form the leading edge of your airplane. Now, make a mark along both the left and right edges about halfway between the bottom edge of the lip that you just created and the bottom edge of the sheet. Doing each side one at a time, place your ruler between these marks and the top center of the lip at a 45 degree angle and draw a line. Now fold the triangular portions along these lines down and toward the center of your sheet. Now fold the sheet in half along the vertical center crease that you made earlier. If you've done it correctly, your model should resemble this from the side view. Now we're going to fold the wings down. On the nose end, you should leave about one inch between the wing crease and the bottom of the nose. On the tail end, you should leave about two inches between the wing crease and the bottom of the tail. When you're completely finished, your paper airplane should look something like this. Now we have to see if you've constructed it correctly. Let's go outside and put it to the test. The rapier model works much like a glider. So it works great indoors, but is not suited to windy outdoor conditions. For optimum takeoff, you should grasp the rapier about a quarter of the way back from the nose. Release it in an overarm manner with very minimal force. Thanks for watching and safe flying.